Let me show you how you can take just a static PSD and how to animate it super quick and add video to it very easily, actually using Express. So let's check it out. So here I am in Photoshop and you can see all these objects, these lovely layers, just everything kind of stacked up. I did make a lot of smart objects, right? Just to kind of keep them all self-contained. Saved that file. Uh, here it is on my desktop. Let's open up Express. And all we need to do is just take that file, drag it right into uh, Express, and it will upload and convert that file. Also, you can do the same thing with an Illustrator file. Open it in the editor, and here we are with all of the layers off to the side. So what makes this fun is you can take some of this content, like these splashes, and add animation to it. So it's really quick, adding animation. Go into looping, there's a number of things we could do. Uh, I like doing like a quick jitter, right? We can see that kind of bouncing around and we can make that jitter faster or more dramatic, right? But it's kind of up to you to kind of tweak those accordingly. I'll do that for the splashes right behind it as well. Just throw a little jitter in there, right? Make that bounce around at a, a slower rate. But now let's animate something maybe a little bit more fun like this big tentacle. So we'll go into looping and we'll select Bob. So let's see what we get when we adjust Bob. Oh yeah, nice and big. Same thing for this one as well. Animation looping Bob, just like so. Uh, maybe more or less dramatic. You can get really intense with this. See how much it could kind of jump up and down. So we just want to keep it, you know, pretty intense, nothing too crazy. And then we can dive into other elements as well. So if I want to take the word uh, league, for instance, leagues and uh, animate it in, I could animate that content in, drifting in or out as well, has those same motions, drifting, maybe growing out. So you could really do a lot with it. What I will do for this text is just have it yo-yo kind of back and forth very softly, right? So we don't want it to make you seasick, but we do want to give it some motion. So that's all I'm doing that is tweaking accordingly. And uh, we can check out the animation here. In fact, we can edit the timeline. We can see it right down here, play. That's what I have for the animation so far. Uh, now let's quickly jump into video. You should have access to Adobe Stock. So you can search for maybe something like Storm. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for, stuff like this. Dropping this on top, I have this Storm video. But when you use video, you can really edit it as if it's any other image. So I can take this, I can rotate it, make it a little larger, adjustments, brightness, contrast for sure, because what I wanna do for this is change the blend mode. So we'll change the blend mode to screen, so now we get those cool flashes as if it's in a storm. And by the way, I could take this, uh, you know, copy it, paste it, bring it down beneath everything, and this version, maybe the one in the in the very back, will just have a normal blend mode. So you can see it there, and uh, I'd probably still wanna do some adjustments with it as well. Um, as I show the layer timing, notice we could see the layer timing for that video. Be aware of that because as you uh, kind of jump into that video, you can adjust the speed so it might not last as long as your timeline. So you just do some adjustments accordingly. You know, now this is only 15 seconds long. And what did I do? I made a video out of it. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the final version that I've put together. And check it out, here's the final, looking good, lots of bobbing, of course we have that text kind of sliding back and forth, looking good. And last thing I wanna point out, you have access to your Creative Cloud libraries right over here. So you can really pull in any of this content. This could be a PSD, could be an Illustrator file, and it happens to be a linked asset. So if I make changes to it in the library, it will change here. But in this case, all I need to do is shrink it down, put it right there, and now we have our lovely animation once was a still graphic, is actually now a video that can be shared right up here, and then also you can even download it.